Good afternoon, everybody. I want to say thank you for coming back this beautiful Tuesday. The market is looking a lot better right now. AMC stock is up. So we're doing good there. I like that aspect of it. So let's see who we got first in the chat today. We've got Frank, man. What's going on, Frank? First, as always, Justin Johnson. How you doing? Shout out to Frank. Fr uh, shout out Justin. Uh, Mark. Frank. Mark Crypto. Habanero. I love America. Me too, man. What's going on, Habanero? Mark Crypto. Shredder. Mark Crypto. Uh, Victor. Andrew. Habanero. Crypto. Rocketeer. Boom, baby. Dabbing on him like always. We got Victor Frodo. What's going on, man? DD214, Habanero. Priyanka Srati. Shilo, how you doing, Habanero? Spaniard Justin. Pika Bauer is back. Pika, how you feeling? Hopefully well. But if not, it's okay. We're here with you. Habanero, J5, what's going on with you? And let's go over to see what the market has going on right now. AMC stock looking BEA beautiful. Sitting up 6.5% right now, 1445. Trying to break back through that level of resistance now that was once a very strong level of support. Right there at that 1450 line. So AMC sitting at 1446, up almost 7% on the day. Shiba Inu coin sitting at 2178 right now, down 1.14%. GameStop up. 6% on the day as well. Sitting at 82.90, getting a nice, nice healthy bounce there. Prog up 6%. Everything 6. 6. 6. 6. Well, three sixes. I don't know about that, but the NASDAQ soaring. Flying. NASDAQ is beautifully rising 3% right now. It is looking very good. On a daily chart, you can see that we are bouncing off that level of support like we hoped we would. Now, guys, this is going to be it sounds like, it seems like investors are optimistic about the Federal Reserve meeting tomorrow. So we're going to have to see what happens. But I absolutely believe if we've got some great information that comes out, we can break back above this level of 13,300 and then it use that as a level of support from there on out. So be optimistic about that. We'll see what the Federal Reserve has to say. We've got Farmy sitting up 7.5% right now, 1446. Dude, Farmy and AMC, they're like, they're, they're definitely like big bro and little bro at this point. AMC's in the 13s, Farmy's in the 13s. Farmy's in the 14s, AMC's in the 14s. Farmy's in the 15s, AMC's in the 15s. AMC's in the 16s, Farmy's in the 16s. Really, really following AMC for some reason. Don't know why, it's just the correlation you got there. Sundial doing beautifully right now, 47.05, green on the day. Bed Bath & Beyond up. Mullen Auto down right now, 8%, sitting at $1.62. And CEI still doing pretty rough there, sitting at down 11% right now. Bouncing off this drastic decline we had right here, but back up three cents over the the last six or seven minutes or so and then we've got this spy sitting up 2.27 percent beautiful day across the board for the indices guys very very strong action that we're seeing right now so let's move back on over here see how you guys are feeling you got to be feeling a little bit better than you were this morning which average price for AMC? Priyanka, my average price, 1380s, man. I, I, I don't know, 1386, 1388, something in the 1380s. So I am back in the green today, and uh, that is good news. I'm excited that I'm back in the green, but my, my average on AMC is in the 1380s. Let's go Jag X. Is, oh, my gosh. J, dude, Spaniard, you like to take risks, man. Are you in Jaguar Health? Are you, where did that go? Are you in Jaguar Health, man? Because that is a risky play. Love your show. Habanero, man. Thank you very much for being in here and showing that positive support. Think about what's going on. Hope you're feeling a little bit better than earlier. Me too, man. Thank you, Clay. Things could be worse. I'm about 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10. I feel like 7 out of 10 every single day of the week, Peak of Power. I, don't, I mean, I, I do feel bad sometimes. But uh, 7 out of 10, I'll take it. I'll take it. It could be a lot worse than that, Pika. Really hoping you get better quick. Take weak gains before it's too late. Uh, Feral, Feral Gulch Forge. Are you talking like the actual commodity wheat, or are you talking about some sort of a stock? Serious question. The Bro Trailer Park. When you and I duet, breaking free from the 2006 instant classic high school musical, will you sing for Troy or a Gabrielle? Uh, which do you prefer, man? Which do you prefer? Ask the birds. Whichever one you want, man. I, listen, I could sing back up to you. I could sing. I could sing Troy. I could sing Gabriella. It's it's whatever you prefer, man. I'm good on both. Just I would be honored. I'd be honored to duet that with you. Why can't? Why do we have to wait for the trailer park, man? Let's get it, dude. Devil's advocate. I do have to say. I do have to say. I was so close to posting my Weeble link. On your on your Twitter page this afternoon, I had it. I pasted it on the reply, and then I deleted it, man, because I didn't want people freaking out and like just jumping out of buildings or whatever. Because I posted a Weeble link on Twitter and then ripping me all afternoon long, but I, oh, I was feeling frisky and I almost did it, dude. 
Uh, let's see. Quit. How are all those ship burns? It's really not. It's really increasing every day. It's starting the snowball effect. Imagine a year or two from now, and if we get more burns going, this is the yeah, Remy. If you like, you have to have that long term mentality if you're looking at burns, man, because right now you can get you can get discouraged if you look at a uh, uh, billion coins being burnt a month and you realize it's going to take hundreds of years to burn a significant amount of the supply but yeah dude if you look at what's capable if we continue increasing the way that we've been increasing and uh you know what you're going to be seeing two to three years down the road dude two to three years down the road we could be seeing a billion a day being burnt a billion uh, every couple hours being burnt you know the possibilities are endless when it comes to future growth so i like the way you got that there lauren hello clay hi everyone lauren how are you doing how are you doing today lauren hope you're doing amazing uh lauren you do realize you know we saw your picture on twitter so we had to we had to change the lights for to match your hair on your Twitter picture. I know that your hair is not purple right now, but I gotta remind myself constantly of things that I like. So that's why we got the purple lights back there. It's not currently purple. Her hair, she's thinking about dyeing it, but, or she may dye it. I don't know if she's actually thinking about it or not, but that's an old picture. And uh, yeah, you, got, you gotta remind yourself of what you like surround yourself with things that you like and you're, you're gonna be doing good wheat shares are up for the day and not sure about tomorrow wheat w-e-a-t-t-t -T -T. what are we looking at today four percent gain on the day not too bad i'm not gonna lie man i'm not gonna lie just looking at this i'd be bullish on it but I also do not know when you got in and and who you are. This definitely, to me, looks like they could continue to rise. However, I do need to stress this. Tomorrow is basically like an earnings report for the entire market. With inflation coming out tomorrow, I would expect investors to be cautious moving into the, infl the interest rate announcement. So we may see a pullback early morning before the announcement and then a run or a continuation of the decline afterwards so if you're more conservative if you're happy with the gain you got cool i do think there's a great a big chance for both a rally or a decline tomorrow across the board it's really going to depend on how the federal reserve sounds the tone of their voice the the i don't know the confidence in which they think they can handle inflation so if you're sitting on a good gain right now Completely up to you, man. Looks like you could buy some puts if you want to protect yourself to the downside or if you just want to go ahead and take it or if you want to let it ride, man. But this, without the Fed, seems bullish. With the Fed tomorrow, you want to be a little bit more cautious if you're a conservative investor. So we got your 10 year Shiba price target. Oh, mega smincher, man. I think anything is possible. Anything is possible in 10 years, man. I, I, I don't know. I would love to see the entire crypto market worth tens of trillions of dollars over the next 10 years. So I do see Shiba along with the entire crypto market growing, but to put an actual price on it is way too difficult. Woke up this morning, we found out we own a gold mine. <laughs> Yes, we did find out that we own a gold mine, guys. We, we own a very large stake in a gold mine. Are you not in Crow? So, be loud. I do actually own some Crow. Not a ton of it, but I, I do own some Crow, yes. And I, I've had Crow for... The Crow that I have, I actually forgot that I had. So, I, I looked at it a couple months ago when it was rallying up towards a dollar. And uh, I've had it... Dude, probably since like 2018. Uh, a bushel of wheat went up because farmers over there can't feed their crops. Yeah, there's a lot going on with... with uh, I, I don't know if supply chain restrictions is necessarily the, the correct term in that regard, but with the, the ordeal between Russia and Ukraine, there's a lot going on with commodity prices. Read the last comment. Spaniard, I got you, man. I'm going to try to go up there and find it. Spaniard's last comment. I don't know what Jagex is or what's going on, but I am sweating and having a good time right now. <laughs> I swear to God. If this dude bought something, he doesn't even know what it is. Oh, my God. Dude, Jagex is basically a dying pharmaceutical company. 
Oh my god. This dude makes me nervous, man. This dude makes me nervous. This dude makes me really nervous. Spaniard, are, did you buy this? Spaniard, did you buy this, man? Oh, boy. Some of you guys do stuff that just makes my blood flow, and I, I don't know if it's a good or bad thing, man. Oh, the purple lights, purple hair, yes or no? Lauren, you look good in anything. So the answer is yes or no. With or without hair, with or without purple hair, with or without a hat on, I like all of it. So, honestly, whatever you feel best in. They all look good. Clint, you missed my answer. I want you to be Gabrielle. I want Lauren to do your lashes. And I want Trapper to be Chad Cheers on. Yes. <laughs> I knew why. I knew why. And we'll make it happen, man. We'll make it happen. If we do anything at the Bro Trailer Park, then yes, that's what we got to do. Lauren, Twinkle Toes, I've only heard anyone say in High School Musical, so I thought you were quoting it. Was she talking about your dancing skills or something? I I, I know I missed the chat there. Mella Mamas in the house translated to Mella Mamas in la casa. Mella Mamas. <laughs> Glad to have you here. Can't say the C word. Can't say the ahem over there a word because people get short tempered. Over there? The Ukraine? That we're talking? I don't know. To be TF itself with Shib. Well, a crypto in general. Big Z, man. We've got a lot of a, a lot of what's the best way to put it? A lot of concern about the crypto market right now. And some of that concern is being alleviated. The crypto executive order that Biden signed the other day seems to be good for the crypto market. So that's a plus. Inflation and interest rates, rising inflation, rising interest rates, bad for the crypto market. So we're going to have to see how the Fed handles the, the rising of interest rates or the raising of interest rates, I should say. Well, that's going to be tomorrow. And then clearly Russia and all the concerns about sanctions and skirting sanctions using cryptocurrency is also leaving crypto investors on edge. So we got a lot of we get a lot of concern out there right now, and that's why we're seeing the drastic pullbacks that we've been seeing. Saw so running about ten thousand just forty three. Spaniard, dude. Spaniard makes me nervous. I'm not gonna lie. Spaniard, I will tell you this, okay? I will tell you this. Please do whatever you want with Jagex, but. Just know that this would probably be a very, very good short-term play. Uh, if you look at the monthly chart, dude, I know they have had countless reverse splits to take the price all the way up to $23,000, $22,000. But, dude, please, uh, just be cautious. Like, I, I can't tell you how to invest. Uh, clearly, if you like risk, this is a risky play. But just... You're sitting on a decent gain, man. You're sitting on a decent gain. 40s to the 50s. I have no idea what tomorrow holds. You could absolutely see a nice run up tomorrow. I don't know what the bounce is from. Um, oh, man. It just looks like some analyst calling it underappreciated or something. After missing earnings and ex revenue expectations. I don't know, man. I don't know. Just be cautious, okay? Be cautious. If you look at the long-term chart, this, this stock has had a very rough run. Now, yes, it can rally when people get on, but please remember, end of 2020, beginning of 2021 for penny stocks was a much different time. Everybody was receiving stimulus checks. Everybody gambled those stimulus checks on penny stocks. It could run again. It could run again. I'm not telling you you got to sell or something. Protect your profits on it. Just just be reasonable, in my opinion, man. And I'll be able to sleep at night knowing that you're not thinking of Jagex as a long-term play. Whew, God. Dude makes me nervous. I'm telling you right now. Spaniard makes me nervous. Devil's Advocate, what context do they sit in High School Musical? It means someone that can dance to me. <laughs> Uh, I think my grandparents must have been English or something. Uh, Lauren, yeah, I, I can I could really see my grandma using the term twinkle toes to describe somebody that can legitimately dance. So, yes, 
I, I guarantee my grandparents have some. English descent. Imagine tomorrow the meeting is bullish AF, and then after hours Prague earnings is bullish AF. Prague's got after. Oh man, I'm imagining it right now, Devil's Advocate, and I am loving it, guys. I am rooting for a bullish scenario tomorrow. I truly am. You know, we've been watching the Russian and, and Ukraine war escalate, but it doesn't seem to be getting out of hand. Right, all of the NATO doesn't seem to be jumping in. We don't have all of these countries across the globe starting World War Three, at least as of right now. So that's good. You got to find the good in the situation. That's good. Inflation rates, although they are rising, the Fed does have a decision to make tomorrow. If they come out and they're bullish, even if they say they're going to raise interest rates, if they offer us some clarity on how often and how much they'll raise interest rates by and give us a hint that they feel confident that they can get inflation under control dude i think we got a i think we got a really good chance for a bounce tomorrow that's me being optimistic i do want to get that out there that's me being optimistic but it's still realistic if they give us and offer us that type of clarity clay really enjoying your videos are you a full time trader do you have a financial background <coughs> uh mega sminter so I don't talk about the background, but yes, I am not currently reporting to a nine to five and uh, I, I wouldn't necessarily consider myself a trader in the short term aspect, more of an investor, man. It's not like I'm out there and I see some of these other guys that would be considered traders. They're looking at the, the one minute technicals, the five minute technicals. They're making several trades a day. And, and they're trying to get in, get out, uh, book their 1%, 2% profits on each trade and move on. I would consider myself more of, a, more of an investor than a trader in that regard. But yes, I am not currently reporting to a, a 9 to 5 job or anything like that. Uh, it's only a $1,300 gain so far. I'll be all right, Clipper. Oh, all right, Spaniard, be good, man. Be good. Protect your profits the best that you can. Please purchase these ships. They begin, you, can become, you can become richer in the future. The USA peoples also make purchases of some Bitcoins if you like. I'm locked out of Coinbase. They got to reset my password. D, man, get that password reset, dude. How much is JagX? I can't see the value. Mark Crypto, about 50 cents, man. About 50 cents. It's, it's gained 40% today, 44%, sitting at 59 after hours. So still running after hours right here. Really took off this afternoon. Apparently, just based on some guy saying that it's under it's underappreciated. Clearly. Um, but there's, you know, there's a reason it's underappreciated. But running after hours still sitting at 61 cents per share dude i hope you make as much money as possible but please do not think that that's a a play that you need to hold forever okay i've seen this stock go down all year long and uh i actually did a video on jagex at the beginning of 2021 and people ripped on me for saying it was dangerous and saying i wouldn't buy it and this is what this is what it did throughout 2021, man. I, I made the video probably, dude. It, honestly, it's probably in January of 2021, so it was probably up here at eight nine bucks. And clearly, clearly a dangerous play at eight nine bucks. But whew, Spaniard's gonna be good. I know he's gonna be good. He's gonna be careful. He's gonna make me nervous. He's gonna be good. Make that money, Spaniard. Make that money. Where's Prague at? Let me get Prague back on the screen here. Prague's doing some just doing some crazy dances here. Okay. We're good. We're good. AMC bouncing back up a little bit. Up a half a percent after hours. Very nice there. We've got GameStop sitting at $83, uh, $83 after hours. The NASDAQ closed up 2.92% today. Very nice gain on the NASDAQ. Farmy seems to be falling back down a little bit after hours. Jumping back up after hours. 14.30 right now. We've got Sundial down slightly after hours. Bed Bath & Beyond, Mullen Auto, and CEI basically doing nothing after hours either. So very interesting after hours trade kind of just uh chilling like they normally do and we need prog down there not amc good to go good little pick up there so clay so i watched the new trailer for miss marvel today i haven't seen that yet you got me thinking about amc here's what i came up with if you were a superhero who would it be uh, who or let's see who would it be to help this short squeeze <laughs> eric 
If if I ever had, like, are you telling me to make up my own superhero power, or are you telling me to just be a superhero? Because I'm gonna have to pick Spider Man out of all of them, man. I just like Spider Man. I mean, I, what's the question? Do I have to pick up my like Mr. Realism or something, Mr. Non Synthetic? Like, what am I? What's the question? Ferguson, it's like a jokey way to say someone can dance, right? Yeah, man, you got twinkle toes. No, it is true though. Like my, my grandma and grandpa would say you got twinkle toes if you can dance. I mean. I don't know if that's good or not, but Lauren, she kind of reminded me of my grandma right now. And uh, between you and me, I loved my grandma. Still do, but she's not around. So I love my grandma. You remind me of my grandma right now, Lauren. So you're walking on, you're walking on some eggshells there. I don't know. You're stepping in some terror. Random question is, is Amos Burton hot? Who's Amos Burton? Because apparently I look like him. And after being called Twinkle Toes, I'm kind of shook by all these comments today. <laughs> I don't know who that is, man. <laughs> if you could send some ships to the Ukraine peoples, I think they would like that to help the... Dude, I think anybody would like it if you sent them some some cryptocurrency. Yes. But be careful, guys, okay? If you guys do feel the need to donate in any way, make sure you just do your due diligence. And if you're donating crypto, be smart about it. All right? That's all I got to say. Yeah, I'm going to follow... Sp what? Spanish plays? Should I buy Nile? Nile. Never heard of Nile. Let's see that here in a second. Uh, there's no Shiba to send unless people give it from their personal supply. Yes, Remy. I should be going up a little bit. Why is it going up a little bit right now? Ah, oh, dude, if it's going up a little bit, it, I think it's just following the overall crypto market. It's not really up today. It's down 1.20%. Bitcoin's down about one, uh, about break even right now. You got Cardano up. Like, it seems to be mixed, man. Everything's just really right around that 1% gain. So I don't think we have... Too much going on with Shiba this afternoon. About Tectonic, it went up 18% today. What's going on? Harris, man, very nice. I have no idea what's going on in terms of Tectonic, okay? Just know that those smaller coins out there, they're very volatile. So if you're making 18%, you want to cash out, cash out. If you think it's got a lot more upside potential, then, uh, you know, you got to be willing to hold. But those 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 small coins are very dangerous. Any Marvel or DC character, your choice, who could help us squeeze to say $2,374.52 per share. Spider-Man could definitely do it, man. Spider-Man could definitely do it. Why? I don't know. Just because I like Spider-Man and it seems to be that he, he's doing very well on his movies. But Iron Man. I mean, Iron Man's rich. He can just buy AMC for $2,374 each per share. I'm pretty sure Bruce Wayne could as well. Uh, other than that, I don't know if anybody else could manipulate the stock price higher. I mean, I guess that would be a possibility too. Uh, this is a very, very tough question, Eric. Very tough. Very tough. Lou versus Jake Paul. Who wins? God, dude. Jake Paul, man. Jake Paul's undefeated. Jake Paul's the man. What do you mean, who wins? Read my comment to Lauren Clay. I need you to imagine what I imagined. Oh, this is getting dangerous. The juicier one? The juicier ho the juicer, homie, blends his own drinks. He's a pharmacist who blends up potions to make him super powerful with his stock predictions. He squeezes things. And that was not your comment to Lauren. That was your comment to Eric there. And that actually sounds like a very nice superhero. I'm the, call me the juicer. I'll be squeezing things. All right, where's where's the comment to Lauren? Rent, oh, Amos, Amos Burton saw that one. Yeah, yeah. I'm um, just picturing Lauren at some super fancy opera, and after looking one of the dancers up and down and beginning a little and being a little like sick twinkle toes, shoots finger pistols. <laughs> Dude, and right that's right after it, you know. It's not that just that she attended that opera, but she's actually like a either a recruiter or somebody that is able to. Uh, I don't even know what you would call it, like a, an agent or something. And she's like, she poked him with a stick beforehand and told him to gallop. And then he danced, and then she said, nice twinkle toes. Yeah, dude, I can totally see that. But she's got to poke him with a stick before and say, gallop, or dance, man, dance. I mean, Grandma Vibes, what did I miss? He didn't miss anything. No, Big Lou by KO. Sergio, what do you mean? Jake Paul's undefeated, man. It's got to be Jake Paul. He's the best ever. No, not that one. The one over the opera. Yes, I saw that one. Lauren, Clay, you, you said you reminded me of his grandma. Yes, Lauren, you do remind me of my grandma, and I love my grandma. Clay, what do you think about Elon challenging Putin to a real-life mano-a-mano duel to the death? 
Dude, you know, I, I did see several of those tweets earlier today, and that is that's like a legitimate strategy, right? If you look at if you look at history, that would have worked. I don't know if that's ever gonna work or if that's ever gonna be an acceptable idea nowadays. I would probably I mean I guess you can't I don't know if we could vote on on who would do it. If we had to send one person and represent like to represent the United States in a one-on-one -on -one duel, gladiator style, like David versus Goliath style, everybody just sits there. Your your one fighter goes up to cross the line to fight their fighter, winner takes all. I might nominate somebody other than Elon Musk. I think Elon Musk could probably buy Russia. Um, I don't know if he would necessarily be the best fighter, but going up against Putin, I think that he would actually probably stand a chance. I think that Putin might be a, a little bit more <sighs> aggressive and less likely to hold back, more of a killer instinct, and killer nature, but I don't feel like Elon Musk would be out of his territory in that. So, yeah, I would still be nervous if that was the if that was the ordeal, man. One on one, let's go. You versus me, winner takes all. I would definitely be nervous first. Rocket, what's going on, man? Twinkle toes is that running back that dances instead of hitting the hole? Hitting what hole? Is your grandma hot, Clay? Yeah, she was. She was, Lauren. She was definitely. I I have no problem saying that my grandma was hot. I'll do it. Devil's advocate. We send you. We send Sergio. <laughs> Sergio's sending Lou. Uh, I guess that would be a win-win situation, if you know what I mean. But, yeah, we could send Lou. We could send Lou. Lou, just based off the genetics, Clay's grandma has receding hairline, cuffed pants. I'm not going to show you my, my leg hair, but the pants are cuffed today. Addiction to Rogue Fitness, a decent facial structure, nice teeth. She's an obvious 10. Let's get it. Grandma, you were a 10. Libra, Lauren is queen of the chat today. You know what that means. King helping a brother out. Peak of power. I love it. Clay bro is king. Lauren is queen. What else do we have to say about it? Peak of power. Thank you very much. Tony, drunk. Why are you so drunk? It's, man, it's like 4 o'clock in the afternoon. You got to start. You got to stop drinking, dude. Do not donate because anybody in India or because they are scammers. They'll get your credit card numbers and you and when it gets your bill, you won't notice. You bought hamsters. You never. I would actually, if somebody sent some hamsters to my house, I, I would I would accept hamsters. Um, I like hamsters. I like little critters like that, and I'd be happy with that. But if if they charged me for them and never gave them to me, I'd be upset. You got like seven point three million sheep. Should I buy more? Is that a good amount to make some make some make some real money? So Harris. It depends on what you, how much money you think is real money, right? I, I always put it that way. If somebody's got a million Shiba and they want to make a million dollars, I'm going to have to tell you good luck. If you've got a billion Shiba and you want to make a million dollars, much more reasonable, okay? If you've got a hundred million Shiba and you want to make a million dollars, I truly believe that that is doable, but I don't believe that's doable anytime soon. You know, that would be a one penny price point. And let's say we do burn a drastic amount. And let's say we burn 50% of the outstanding Shiba over the next five to 10 years. It's a $2 trillion valuation on Shiba Inu coin. If all this metaverse space, all this digital assets, everything crypto grows dramatically over the next five to 10 years. I, I would not have a problem putting a $2 trillion valuation on Shiba Inu coin if the overall crypto market is trading somewhere in the $20 trillion range. So you got a lot of things to, to look at when you're trying to find a reasonable price point and what is a reasonable amount of money. I will rock the grandma vibes then. Lauren, I love it. Spaniard, what price you get in that? Spaniard you get in 40, oh, 58 cents. Okay, you get it 58 cents. Binance can be used in Louisiana now. Oh, you weren't, hey, Young Valor, you weren't able to use Binance before? It's all about how quick you find the hole. Outdoor Smile, we're talking about golf? Talking about golf? What are we talking about, Outdoor Smile? Hey, are we talking about, okay, running back, finding the hole in the defense? Is that what we got going on there? Uh, football, maybe. We still on football, finding the hole in the defense? Like, maybe. Hey, oh, Lord. What's on a flirtatious, manly tone in my voice? Hey, oh, Lord. I don't mean to brag, uh, but I got a Withers original bag and an extra ticket of bingo. What's up, baby? Yes, man. It actually sounds like a that actually sounds like a pretty fun night to me. Not gonna lie. 
Ah, I do like that butterscotch. Give Melamamas a shout out. Shout out to Melamamas. What's going on? Melamamas. Melamamas got all the shout outs they want in here. Michael. How the heck do you say this last name? We'll just call it Michael. Michael, what's going on? Nope. Young Valor says, oh, that's really weird, man. I didn't know you couldn't use it down there. Mitch, Nile, 58 cents. Nile, Nile, Nile. We get in Nile. 58 cents and it's 60 cents right now. Man, you guys, oh God, these guys getting some dangerous plays, man. I'm telling you right now. Oh, Spaniard. Oh, you guys just, you guys really like to live on the edge, don't you? You guys really like to live on the edge. Oh my goodness. My dude's in Jagex and Nile. Nile's up 30% after hours. Jagex is up 6% after hours. <laughs> Protect your profits, boys. Protect your profits, please. Stop making me nervous. Here to drop a like and have a great day. Kalani, boom, man. Thank you very much. Anybody that jumps just drops by to stop or to hit a like button, I really appreciate that. Wish you guys could stay, but I do thank you like sincerely for the support. It's amazing. Devil's Advocate, I love Werther's Originals. How did you know? Well, because I love Werther's Originals. That's how he knew. Everybody. Who doesn't love butterscotch? That's actually a good question. Who doesn't love butterscotch? I do. Lord, like what can I say? I know what Granny's like. Devil's advocate. Nice, man. Granny's also like making money in the stock market. AMC down slightly after hours right now, sitting at 1447. Shiba Inu coin 2170. GameStop is sitting at 82, 6, 83 after hours, sorry. Prog is sitting down 0.84%. We've got Farmy sitting down 0.63% after hours right now, 1424. AMC actually, uh, AMC is bouncing back and forth between break even. Sundial down 1.70% after hours, and nothing happening really with Mullen Auto, CEI, and Bed Bath and Beyond. After hours actions seems to be. Oh, Jagex is falling back down after hours. Oh, you guys make me nervous. Jagex falling back down a little bit after hours right here. Um, Nile up 30, up 27%. Was up 30% after hours, up 70 cents, sitting at 67 cents right now. So, protect your profits, boys, please. Uh, IPOs show stocks incoming up for sale. How come a penny stock slips through the crack and is under a dollar when we should be notified? Uh, it started as a pen penny first. Sh Shredder, let me see. So stocks come upcoming for sale. Yes. How come a penny stock slips through the crack and is under a dollar when we should be notified? It started as a penny first. Shredda, I don't think I understand the question. So if you're saying, yeah, if you're saying it was trading at a penny, or you're saying that it it's got a par value of a penny or something, um, because the if it's a penny stock, the IPO is going to be the first time it ever traded publicly. The stock can trade privately at any price. It, it could have traded at a penny when it was private, and then it could go public for a dollar, two dollars, three dollars, ten dollars a share. Um and that would still be you know the the IPO is the first publicly traded price that you're gonna see. I think I may I think I may not have understood the question completely, but let me know if I did or not. I cl clearly I don't think I did. So maybe maybe I have to rephrase it a little bit. Smile. Maybe we can maybe after the squeeze we can get you a, a dental plan. Yes, the better the smiles, the better. Those that would kind of prefer the Pelosi sloppy dentures for my future. Nice outdoor smile. You're, you should chart, you should change your name to Werther's Smile then. Really, yeah, you probably should. J Bones, member for 10 months, man. I love it. J Bones, man, grabbing a 10 month membership. No, no mess there. Still here, J Bones. Thank you for being still there. And thank you for the 10 month member chat. 10 months is a very long time. Appreciate you, man. GHSI. I guarantee this dude is going to make me nervous with his entry on GHSI. Oh, 
This dude likes our after hour runners, doesn't he? Uh The stock's got low volume though during the day. Like keep an eye on that. But it seems with four million shares being traded on the day, that's not too bad. Million dollars worth. Eight hundred thousand dollars worth being traded on a day. It's not too bad, but yeah. If you're going to be thinking about getting in, man, it, it did gap fill here. Didn't necessarily gap fill here, but, uh, yeah, it, it couldn't, it, it does look really cheap. I have no idea what these guys do, though. Just be careful because you're buying some really cheap stocks. You're buying some really cheap stocks, but, yeah, dude, cheap stocks. I mean, they got a, a potential to run, right? You go back to November. The stock was trading at a buck fifty, and now it's twenty cents. If it just gets back to where we were before, you got some sick gains. Spiked all the way up here to eight bucks, at the beginning of twenty twenty one, during that penny stock rally. So, if you get any sort of action like that again, man, it could be very nice. But I don't know if we're gonna have the twenty twenty one types of rallies without stimulus checks or, or any sort of an influx in cash, and I, I don't think that we're gonna see that for a while. You did. I killed your hamster spinning its wheel over. Okay, cool. Dude, don't don't kill my hamster, please. Don't do that. But overall, you understood. Good deal. Shredda, thank you for understanding. When I don't even know if I understood it myself. Sub Trapper, what's going on? Trapper, out there, smile. You should. Speaking of thinking about getting in, where's. <laughs> Julia, where are you at? Are you listening right now? I like the creativity. Sounds perfect. Uh, this is seriously sticky. Something double advocates. Oh my gosh. Yeah, AMC Trapper. I don't know about this stuff, man. I don't know about this stuff either, AMC Trapper. I do know. Oh, what do you guys think about tomorrow? Let, let's make a decision or try to make a decision or at least gauge the sentiment on the Fed announcement tomorrow. So. It seems like it's going to be for 1 o'clock. You guys just want to do like a normal stream, and then if you guys want to listen to the Fed announcement, we can leave the stream up. You want to try and start the stream a little later and maybe uh, sit through it. What do you guys want to do for that? I'm thinking maybe, since it's, it's really boring, I'm thinking maybe we just stream and then possibly leave the stream up and, uh, you know, I, I can go do what I got to do during the, the break still. Um, but what do you guys think about that? Do you want to watch the Federal Reserve announcement tomorrow, or you guys don't really care? Got him. Got him. Jumped on GME wagon today just because. Jay Bones. Look, dude. Yeah, GameStop is looking pretty pretty cheap today. And really, I think if you got in at any point during the day, you're probably going to be doing pretty well unless you got in way up here. So it's been a lot of the time lower than it closed today. But 80, 80 bucks is a lot cheaper than it's been in recent days. Uh, kind of hard to see that down there. Let's go out here to a to a daily chart and see. It is drastically lower than it has been. Um, it's the, this is the tough part. It's sitting right here at this level, right in this area, okay? Right in this area of support here. If it breaks that, I mean, dude, 40 to 50 bucks is the next level of support. And it's that way because GameStop rose so fast and then rose so fast that there's not many levels of support down here between 80 bucks, which is where we're at right now, and the $40 level that held up as support over here and over and his resistance over here. So, yeah, GameStop is looking pretty cheap right now. You may have people exiting ahead of the of the earnings report that's coming out this week. So be a little cautious about that. But I see a lot of people excited about the earnings reports. And we get excited about AMC earnings reports too. So it doesn't mean that it's going to go up. But we could have some volatility this week in GameStop. So you might be able to make some decent money there. All depending on that earnings report too. I don't know what they're going to say in there, but people do seem to be very excited about it. Uh, let Chipro take over during the Fed. I should let Chipro take over during the Fed, man. The uh, the Chipro he's been he's been eating out of his bowl like every single day. And there's something else I think that eats out of it too because I put an apple in there, and I don't think Chipro can can move like half an apple. And something just carried half an apple away. So I have an idea. We stream Lauren and Queenie instead with super stickers. 
Dude, no, I would I would watch that all day. Do we win today? JB, yes, we did win today, man. AMC closing at $14.48. Had a nice afternoon rally, bouncing off that 13, 18 low this morning, and then rallying throughout the afternoon, closing right there at that significant 1450 level. So hopefully we've got some good action after that. Um, but yeah, overall, man, I say it's a win. AMC bag in the 14s, Farmy bag in the 14s, GameStop in the 80s. Everything closed up or was almost at a 6 to 7% gain at around the close today. So good. I would say overall, good afternoon, man. I would say we won. I don't know about you guys, but I would say yes. Fed raises rates slowly, one quarter at a time, to punish us for nothing we did wrong. And we will all have to pay those not in the market, unfortunately, who have no clue. Well, it sounds like you are looking for a worst-case scenario from the Fed tomorrow, Shredda. I would hope for better news, but uh, we're going to have to wait and see. Never get excited about earnings reports. JB, yeah, I too really rarely get excited about earnings reports. I actually was excited about Farmy's earnings reports. They gained about 30% and then gave it all back up the next day. There's three game stops within a mile from one another, and people are constantly walking through their doors. You know, I, I don't even remember the last time I've been to a GameStop. I know I've been there before, but I don't remember the last time. I'm not a gamer. You guys know that, but it's uh, it's been quite some time. I don't even know if I went to a GameStop when I had PlayStation, though. So I think it might have been like the, the good old days with like PlayStation 2. I don't remember. Made 85% on Mullen, so I picked up some more AMC and a few GME. J-Bones, man. Incredible. What should, what do I do out Twitch, Mom? I don't know. Shredder, they're always packed. GameStops are always packed, really? Huh? Did you hear about the Steelers? Hear the, what? You hear the Steelers found their quarterback. Watch out. No. Did not know anything about the Steelers. SLRX. This dude's going to make me nervous again. I know he is. Should take a possible growth on Luna. One of the first month on the one of the first month after release. Uh, Luna Terra? Are you talking about? What, what are we talking about here? We talking about something else? New clan? Not exactly sure what you're talking about there. S L R X. What is this guy doing, man? Is this guy going out there and, and googling world's riskiest stocks? Whoa! Why did Weeble close? Hold, please. All right, let's get Weeble back because that was unexpected. Nope, nope, nope. I want. No, hold on. Boom. Got him back. No idea what happened there. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, later, don't want that. So I, I guarantee Spaniards out there Googling riskiest stock plays that exist and coming up with these crazy pharmaceutical companies that are just loving to go down in value. Dude, you make this dude does make me nervous. I know he's doing that on purpose. God, Would you please be careful. Don't expect SLRX to go back up to $100. Don't expect that. Uh, if you can make some money, make some money. But be careful. If you like risky plays, this is definitely a risky play. Very low volume, though, guys. Very low volume. Got only a couple hundred thousand dollars being traded a day. And that's probably on a higher volume day, too. Uh, let's see. You got to keep an eye out, JB. Um, for the quarterback. Uh, thanks, Ma Malamamas. Almost. Anytime a guy is named Mike, it makes me wonder now. It makes me. Anytime I'm gonna see a guy named Mike, I I have to. 
I have to stop myself. You guys made me nervous on mic names. Oh, my apps keep logging me out. We will in YouTube mostly. That's very weird that I, I swear that just closed because all I did was click on the daily chart down there and it closed out a, a Weeble. So that was very weird that that happened. Do you have to see those odds are now worse since the signing? I have no idea who they signed. And I, even if you guys told me who it was, I would have no idea who it was. So after hours right now, let's see. Niall pulling back a little bit. Was it 70? Now it's at 60. Jagex was all the way up at 64. Now it's back down to 55. Dangerous after hours plays here. I don't know why we've got such dramatic moves. Are we getting earnings reports? Is that what we've got? I don't even see the, the reasoning for some of these after hours moves here. Would like an unsolicited after hours move in AMC or Farmy or Ford or GameStop or something like that. They had their earnings report four days ago. Forgot about the Bluetooth in my truck. I guess I'm lucky enough to finish the stream on my way to the dentist. J5! Yeah, dude. I guess you are lucky. You forgot about you had Bluetooth in your truck. Is that what you're saying? My, big, my biggest purchase today was BAC. Does that put you at ease, Clay, bro? God, dude, probably not. Yeah, eh. Uh, uh, banks, man. A little bit more at ease, yes. A little bit more at ease. But not necessarily at ease, okay? But a little bit more at ease. Especially, if you got it today. Yeah, dude, you got it uh, uh, on a decent bounce off support. So, we are right at resistance now that we had back in here. So, not necessarily one of the. It could be a really good entry. If we break through tomorrow, yeah, you could have gotten in at a really good entry. Clearly, 10% lower at like 38 bucks would have been a little bit nicer, 5% lower, but I think it's I think you're all good. I'm a little bit more at ease knowing that that was your biggest purchase of the day. And Jagex, your entire life savings is not riding on Jagex. J5, grab outdoor smile so on the way to the dentist. Uncle Sam, thank you for the super jet. Hello, Clay, bro. I bought Jasmine coin at point oh two oh two oh. Now it's oh one six seven oh. I had seventy five hundred. I was only at fifty nine hundred. Starting to panic. Where do you see it possibly going? So Jasmine coin has been brought up in here before. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know a ton about it. So we can at least look at. We can at least look at the, the chart and see what the chart looks like, but please also know that crypto has been very volatile lately, and that loss of about 25% is basically across the board. 20% maybe? Is basically across the board. So you would have lost that in, in a lot of cryptos, depending on when you got it. But... So we do seem, uh, one cent, one cent, we do seem to be nearing all-time lows, which would be very good levels of support. So I do think that it can come back down a little bit further to about that 12 cent range. But below that, man, it, you know, the, the downside is going to be unlimited reaching, reaching new lows there. But let's see what this time frame looks like. February of 2021 was doing very well. And I, I see this weird sell-off here in May of 2021 when nearly all other cryptos were rising. So I don't know if this would have been a rug pull or what the deal for this decline was back there because I'm unfamiliar with this coin. But that would be my, my first concern. As far, let's see how many holders they got. So they do have a decent amount of holders at 20,000. And we've got some got some pretty big wallets out there, man. Got some pretty big wallets. Six million dollars. Um All right, dude, so I, I don't know exactly know what this website is. It's just a bunch of people they know.
It's a very weird website. So I don't know what they've got going on. I do know that they seem very cheap right now. Crypto in general is very cheap right now. If they don't bounce back when the overall crypto market starts to bounce back, I'd be a little bit concerned. But I do know that a lot of people are very interested in Jasmine. They've been talking about it. They've been blasting it in here sometimes. So just be careful. If it continues to fall, man, you know, protect your losses or protect your profit. Well, you don't have any profits right now. But limit your losses. Don't lose all your money on this coin just because it seems cheap. It can get a lot cheaper, dude. It's an $80 million market cap right now. You can see this lose another 90%, go to an $8 million market cap, and then lose another 90% from there and go to an $800,000 market cap. So just be careful. I don't know if it's going to go up or down, but it does seem very cheap right now. Uh, I was watching Jasmine for a week and then bought in at point uh, 0.0113, sold earlier before it went to 02 recently. Oh, dude. Quentin, you made some money then. That's pretty good. I had 20000 before the Shiba dump. Just got it last night. Uncle Sam. Okay, so you got you got it last night? You got this Jasmine last night? Is that what you're saying? Okay. I mean, this looks... This seven-day graph and this uh, one-month graph still looks pretty rough. But... You hit the last night you hit that resistance in here and then fell back down a little bit good news is you do have support in this area over the last month i'd be careful man i'd be careful you know it, i i don't know where you got it at so i don't know if you're able to put a stop loss or anything but if you do see a nice bounce back up even if we go up to three cents you're going to be making 50 percent there so Protect your profits if that's the case. Because overall crypto market, very volatile right now, very weak right now, but we could see a nice pump if the Federal Reserve gives us some good news tomorrow. So if we do get a nice pump and you're up on your crypto, it, protect your profits. Zap, zap, outdoor something. I know I missed it. It was a uh, Coinbase wall. It won't work well, worth, uh, worth a darn. Uh, I do totally won't let me trade. I cover... Check crap. The fees can be determined. My money is... Oh, God, that sounds terrible. Rocket, thank you very much for the super chat. You know how necessary a lawyer's right they're not. If law, any tape any type was a much less like much less like the tax system lawyers would not be necessary. Draw up a contract, make the language as simple and precise, notarize it. Yeah, dude. I Rocket, I 1000% agree with you. I still don't think that lawyers are even necessary and they got to use all this fake language in their contracts. When did when did it become when did it evolve to more than just a handshake deal, man? My gosh. My gosh, man. Just a nice handshake deal. I'm going to do this, you do that. We'll get along. If you don't do it, I'm going to be mad at you and then you're going to have to cover me for it. So, Rocket, I don't know what you got going on over there, but uh, lawyers of, not, of any type are not necessary, dude. Terrarium clay, looking good. Check it out. Yeah, Ryan, we looked at terrarium a little bit earlier. I'll take a, I'll take any profit. Uncle Sam, good. And protect your profit if you get it, man, because I, I think tomorrow we could see a bounce in crypto. Tomorrow's going to be a very volatile day. Let's just put it that way. I would not expect, and it could happen, though, but I'm not expecting it. I would not expect a stagnant day tomorrow. I would expect either good news or bad news from the Federal Reserve. I would expect either a positive reaction or a negative reaction. I don't really see any in-between there. I've been wrong plenty of times in the past. But I don't really see any in-between. So I'm expecting some positivity tomorrow. Think about Cardano. So Leo 8, man, I think Cardano is following the overall market. I had some Cardano at $1.45. I did end up selling it, so I don't have it anymore. But any crypto for that matter, even Shiba Inu coin, guys, I think that it makes a lot of sense to watch the overall market, watch it find its bottom, and, and then worry about getting in or adding more. Unless you're not getting in too heavy and you can dollar cost average just in case we continue to move down. And my sentiment could shift tomorrow, right? My sentiment could shift tomorrow if the Federal Reserve comes out and tells us some good stuff. I could think that it's a great time to buy across the board. But we're going to have to wait and see 
what that brings. Just know, we get a lot of, of market factors that are, are talking down assets right now. Caesar was right about lawyers. Uh, like Caesar in here or, or Caesar. Shout out to me being... I don't know if we're if you try Mellow Mama, so it's got me worried too. I'm unzappable. Peek Bauer said something about zapping out to his money. Unzappable is Frank or Mr. Simon in the house. Frank was here earlier. I don't know if Frank's uh, in the chat anymore this afternoon, but Mr. Simon has not been in the afternoon chat. He was in the morning chat. Are y'all buying HYMC? Julia Julia, no, I'm not buying HYMC. <laughs> I, I'm not buying HYMC. I, mm -mm. Not me. I know some other people might be buying HYMC out there, but I am not buying HYMC. I think that HYMC is actually looking to dilute the shares even further too, just because they get a nice little retail run up today and they're trying to take advantage of the the increase in price there. So HYMC sitting at a dollar fifty after being all the way up near three dollars per share pre market this morning. All the retail investors that got in this morning when Adam Aaron made that announcement are now down 50%. That's, that's got to be tough. Um, yeah, I, I this is the line in the sand for AMC. This is their break-even point, $1.19.3. So hopefully it doesn't fall below this level. But this is a very, very speculative play, man. Very speculative play. And uh, we got to watch this one carefully here because... Oh, geez, it doesn't even need another 30 cent decline, and they're going to be back at breaking even there. We'll have to watch how that plays out, though. I don't plan on getting into HYMC. Fed better have good news for our baits. Oh, man. Ryan, I hope that I hope that the Federal Reserve has great news tomorrow. And the good news is, that if they do, we could really see a nice rally in the market. By HYMC Z, HYMC Z. HYMC is a thing. HYMC Z is a thing. Well, buy HYMC Z, whatever, whatever this is. Oh boy, down from thirty-five to twenty-five today. Much cheaper if you want to buy that. I don't know why it's got the Z on there. What, what exchange this is trading on, or what the deal is. But all right. JB, I don't know if you're being serious or not, but go for it. Call me a bag chaser because I chased it HYMC. Oh, AMC trap, my bag chasing friend. I, I hope it bounces, man. I hope it bounces, but I'm going to be honest. I, so I'm going to do the video tonight on HYMC and the acquisition. I, I think that there's a little bit more to just Adam Aaron wanting to diversify into gold. And I think it has a lot to do with his friends over at Mudrick Capital being down on their shares of HYMC and, and Adam Aaron coming in to provide some liquidity. And screenshots. Out to Smile. I've been talking to Frank and Mr. Smile about the situation, so I'm not going crazy. It's happening to you too. Customer service. Uh, customer service will work with me, but I have to apply myself through you. God, dude. That sounds ridiculous. Outdoor smile. Thank you for the super chat. Cash, let's see how fast I can go, man. Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's see how fast I can go. That's like this that's like the flying one. Outdoor smile. I ran so fast you didn't even see me moving, man. Thank you for the super sticker there. Appreciate that, man. And uh, anytime I make really loud noises like that, it's a bad idea. I get dizzy and I shouldn't be doing that. Outdoor smile. Thank you very much. JB, any particular reason why JB? Oh, I don't know if he's yeah, he's just kidding on the HYMCZ there. I thought he might have been, but I didn't know if there was any other particular reason. AMC to Pluto, ah, Nufo, yes, AMC doing very well today, bouncing back up 6% towards the end of trading, closed up 6.78% on the day, and it's currently sitting flat after hours, $14.48, nice rebound, GameStop rebounding nicely as well, 5.80% close higher, Prague gained 7.21% on the day, we had 
Farmy gaining six and a half percent on the day. Sundial was also up six point no uh, 0.58 percent on the day. Bed Bath and Beyond gaining six percent on the day. Mullen Auto closed down, but it's up a little bit after hours. CEI also closed down on the day, and the Spy had a pretty good day today, up 2.20 percent, and the Nasdaq closing up 2.90 percent. So overall, pretty good day for us. AMC to Pluto is is definitely the sentiment that I want to have right now. Man. Prague is not really doing anything after hours, and AMC is AMC's sitting sideways too. So let's bring GameStop back over here. All right, good deal. We got those charts where they need to be. Where's my devil's advocate? He was here a minute ago. I think he might have got in trouble at work, and then he left us. Devil's advocate, are you out there? Because he did mention your name, Julia. I'm not gonna lie. Julia, you better see C school ski school before Clay sees better off dead. Ski school. Is that another old one? I've never even heard of that movie. Outdoor Smile, never even heard of it. Better Off Dead, I do need to see that. I have yet to see it. Oh my god, I'm so, I'm so, I'm so bad at movies, guys. Oh. Julia Cooley is like, I own Ski School, man. I was in Ski School. Of course she's seen that already. Oh, let's see how Spaniard's doing over here. Is he still making me nervous? What's going on? All right, so he's about to break, even after hours on... On Jagex here, okay. Nile still up after hours, gave back a little bit of its gain, but still up 17% after hours there. And uh, our boy that got into wheat still doing pretty good, up 4% of the day, sitting at a 0.38% gain after hours there. GHSI SLRX. Oh. So they're actually going parabolic. Span your damn. I'm over, I'm over here looking at your SLRX, dude. Up 20% after hours. Not bad. Not bad. But I don't know where it's going to open tomorrow. It's currently sitting at 41. It does have a little, little resistance in that area. 41 to 44. So watch out for that. Dude, I hope you get a decent run in the morning, man. Because honestly, if you break this little area in here at 50 cents... Dude, if you break 50 cents, I mean, you could see it run back up to like 57, 65, maybe even like 75 cents. So I don't know. It's definitely a risky play, but if you get a break through that level, man, you could be doing pretty well. I still don't know why it's moving after hours, but if, if you break that level, I'm rooting for you. I'd really want to see you make some money on that one. Quick question. I bought my first ever option yesterday for AMC, $16 for 14, the April 14th, monthly, I think. They are up 43%. Would you hold? Not looking for financial advice. So, yo, Carl, let me tell you this, man. Let me tell you this. You did pretty good buying it yesterday and having a nice rally today. Uh, here's the difficult part. You still got a, a decent amount of time before those options expire. Tomorrow is going to be a very volatile day, okay? AMC could do very well tomorrow if the Federal Reserve has some good announcements. If they have some bad announcements, I would expect your option to go down, okay? But the longer you hold it, the less it's going to be worth. The fact that you bought it for $16, that's not a bad price point. I definitely think that it is possible to get back above $16, if we were to close above or get near, uh, not necessarily close above, but if we were to rise pretty pretty steadily tomorrow and break back above that, you got to know, man, that you can always get back in to an options play. It's not like you have to hold it forever, but the, the earlier you can deal with your options, the better you're going to be price-wise. If you're on calls, right? If you're buying puts and they're going to expire, you know, and AMC is going to expire below the put price. You're going to be doing well. But call options, you're going to lose a lot of money every day that gets closer to April 14th there. So make your decisions accordingly. But I would, if I was up big and I was up big early, personally, I wouldn't hold. I would just get rid of it and I would take my profit there. Um, clearly, that could work out terribly. If AMC goes up tomorrow, continues to go up, and all of a sudden we start to squeeze out of nowhere, that could be terrible advice. 
But if I was holding it and we had a nice rally, I wouldn't be worried about, you know, taking my profit and then potentially getting back in later. Let's see. Could Powell in for a second term? Yes or no? Julia, I yeah, I wouldn't personally mind if he's if he's in, but I don't know I don't know what they're all dealing or what they're all voting on there. I always vote them all out, judges, etc. Shredder says just Shredder says keep it keep it new, keep it fresh. I wouldn't have a terrible problem with it, but I do like Shredder's sentiment there that uh, keep them fresh and and keep them recycled in that regards. I don't think that's a bad idea. I really don't. But I, I don't know if at that point we should even allow them to to renew their terms. I don't think Jerome Powell's done anything that would make me not want him in there. When will Claybro Enterprises go public? I'm YOLOing my portfolio when that happens. Rocket. I, I do not see, I do not foresee Claybro Enterprises going public anytime soon, man. But if it does, I will let you in before. I will let you in on the seed round, man, before we ever go public. You got first dibs. Julia, they come in for the people at first and then the money changes. Shredda, I do agree that there are a lot of people that, that get changed by the money when it comes to any governmental job like that in, in Congress or, or any high power position. I have to head out early. Have a great night. Peak of power. We'll be heading out here in a second anyway. No problem, peak of power. I really do hope you feel better. I know you're going to have a lot going on. Get some rest. Stay hydrated. All that good stuff. And we absolutely hope to see you back tomorrow. Cover calls never get filled. Nufo. A lot of people, man, a lot of people have hard times with options. When Mo asks, never. Well, tomorrow is the Mo ass, Julia. It always is tomorrow. Theta kills it. AMC Trapper. No joke on that, man. No joke on that. So, in my opinion, the earlier you guys can take profits on your options, especially if you get a nice spike out of nowhere, the better it's going to be. But, you know, with that being said, man, it could continue to go up for an entire week or for an entire month, honestly. If we start to see a rebound tomorrow and it's a sustained rebound because of what the Fed says, you know, all these stock prices can continue to move higher. Shut up. I feel the same way. Yeah, I, I do. I mean, I feel the same way, too. I just think if, like, I don't have any faults or I don't have any problems with Powell. Except when he opens his mouth and then everything goes down. I don't like that, but I don't necessarily have any problem with his with his policy. Grady Judd is the baddest sheriff of them all. I don't know who that is, but hopefully that's good. Hold on sale. Shiba, what is next? Hold on sale. Hamza, I don't know what is next for Shiba, price-wise or project-wise. Hopefully it's good, but I'm I'm really thinking crypto and stock markets both are going to put a lot of focus on the Fed meeting tomorrow. What is your opinion? Yeah, I think I think uh, I think the Federal Reserve announcement tomorrow is going to be the the biggest catalyst that we've got coming up anytime soon. Other than that, you know, negotiations between Ukraine and Russia to stop the violence over there could be a pretty big thing. Um, just people calming down all over the globe could be a pretty big thing as well but guys let's get a little recap and what we got going on after hours it's not too much but we'll be ending the stream here soon so just see what we have we've got cei sitting down 0.13 percent after hours mullen auto sitting flat at 0.63 percent higher bed bath and beyond sitting down 0.40 percent sundial sitting down one percent after hours shiba inu coin is sitting at 1.59 percent lower on the day 2168 basically moving sideways all day today GameStop sitting up 0.30% after hours, 82.89. Prog sitting down 1.10% after hours right now. Oh, this is Sundial. Sorry, I thought that was Prog. Prog sitting down 0.84% after hours right now at $1.18. And we've got Farmy sitting down 1.54% at 14.11. And AMC back up here. Oh, it's AMC's up on the top. Dead flat after hours, guys, after a very nice day today. So I'm excited about tomorrow. Get your names in the chat right now. We'll get some shout outs going on. Let me know as well if you guys expect good things or bad things for the Federal Reserve. Uh, it's just, I don't know. It's just a, a nice bullish or bearish in the chat for the Federal Reserve announcement tomorrow if you guys want to. 
and then we'll get these shout outs going on videos 7 p.m eastern time 8 p.m eastern time you guys know the drill already i want to say thank you in advance for clicking the like button watching it sharing it all of that good stuff julia gulia shout out to you hamza outdoor smile shredda julia gulia nufo cassie quit the bro coins let's get it nufo bro coin coming soon to a, a, a platform near you amc trapper see you later outdoor smile b cherry see you later jb shredda crypto racketeer Boom, baby, dabbing on him like always. Thank you for hanging out with this crypto rocketeer. Spaniard, bye, Clay. Uh, bye, Spaniard. Please, man, protect your profits tomorrow morning if you got any there. Shredder, Mellow Mamas, Outdoor Smile, Shredder, Hamza, Nufo, AMZ, Pluto, Ahoo, Mark, Crypto, have a great night. Julia, Gulia, Lauren. Lauren, have a wonderful night. I hope you sleep well tonight, Lauren. And uh, thank you very much for gracing us with your presence in both of the live streams. And really appreciate you and everything you do. Especially with the grandma vibes, Lauren. I like it. All right, guys. You know what time it is. Oh, you know what? I do want to say, though, uh, Devil's Advocate, if you're still in here, have a good night. And who else was in here? Pika Power. Uh, Pika, I hope you're feeling better. I know you said you were leaving a minute ago, but I do hope that you, uh, if you're still listening, I, I hope you're feeling better. And you get over that nastiness soon. All right, guys, but you know what time it is. Oh, an AMC Trapper, man. Peace out to the Diamond Handed Apes. I didn't see that in the chat. You must be busy. So you guys know what time it is. If you want to say it with me, say it with me. Till the next time, hope that each and every one of you have an awesome day.